Hey folks, it's Neil from Anchor Ranch Farm in beautiful Sio, Oregon. This is a short-term stock water solution, unpowered stock water solution for if uh, your power goes out or your well pump goes down that you can prep ahead of time. Um, get one of these intermediate bulk containers. Uh, this one holds, I think, 275 gallons. It's kind of the standard size. Um, these are used for shipping liquids on pallets. And there's two kinds. One is food grade and one carries chemicals. So make sure you get the food grade kind. Usually they've had vinegar or uh, vegetable oil, apple juice, something like that in it. Um, and you can just get them and clean them out yourself. These, these are about $500 new, but you can get one used for, uh, I would think definitely, well, <laughs> depending on inflation, less than $100. Uh, possibly significantly less if you haul it, depending on how far you go. Um, and uh, yeah, so just look around. And um, then they, so they fill at the top like this. Uh, and then they've got this valve usually that they come with. I'm not gonna turn it on and get wet. And then um, for like 10 to 20 bucks, you can get a converter that with different kinds of uh, conversions, this goes to uh, a three quarter garden hose um, that, and uh, you can put the converter on here to convert it to run into your water line. There's different thread sizes. So uh, they make, you have to just measure, make sure that you look it up, make sure that you get the correct thread size for your converter. They make kinds that uh, depending on what your valve looks like, you can get clamp on converters too. So just look it up. It's going to cost you $10, $20, something like that. Uh, not a huge amount. And then uh, if you have a hill, you could put this at the top of a hill. We don't have any hills. So I've got it on a stack of pallets. You could build up a, your own hill out of fill dirt or something. Just something strong enough that can hold all this weight on top of it. And uh, you want to get it up because you're going to use gravity to move the water out of here through your water line. So then when you need your water, you just put your stock tank out in the field. Um, get a an automatic float valve those are like 15 20 bucks uh trothomatic was one brand but there's other kinds too um, it's got a balloon float that uh when the water is up at the top of the stock tank the the balloon floats up and closes the water valve so water doesn't doesn't come in as your livestock drink the water it goes down the balloon uh valve sinks down and opens up that valve so water can can flow in now. So it'll fill automatically uh, as long as uh, you've got water in here. Um, how far it goes through your water line is going to depend on how much gravity, you, potential energy you have from gravity. So how far up you've, you've got this. Um, so the higher, the better, uh, as long as you're safe and as long as you can, you can reach the top to fill it. Uh, and then uh, if you need an unpowered stock water solution, there you go. You've got, uh, you know, you've got, um, uh, water ready to go that'll fill your stock tank automatically with no electricity and no pumping. Uh, if you wanted to do this, for, I've got this next to uh, a hose uh, that cut, runs to our well so that I can fill it um, when I want to. Uh, if you wanted to do it out in a pasture where you don't have water access, you could do it with two of these, get two of these, put the one that you're gonna use uh, to fill your stock tank out in the pasture on your mount of pallets or whatever, or top of the hill, uh, and then get another one of these, stick this in the back of your truck or a trailer or something, fill it up at your water source, get a cheap sump pump. You don't need a lot of power. Um, you know, don't need a lot of horsepower, but a, a cheap sump pump uh, with a siphon, just stick that, uh, so fill up, fill up your second, IBC tote, put it in the back of your truck or your trailer, uh, drive that out to, to the one you've got in the field, put your sump pump in here, uh, siphon out the water from the one in your truck to the one in the field, and repeat as necessary. So there you go. Uh, a good temporary, I mean, depending on how much stock you have, 275 gallons doesn't last a whole on, but hopefully it lasts until you can get the power back on or your well pump fixed or something like that. Um, and uh, not super expensive, you know, definitely doable. Assuming you already have the water line, I, I would, and you can source free dirt or free pallets. I would say you could do this for a hundred bucks. So there you go. Uh, keep your livestock 
with plenty of good water. Oh, uh, obviously, so these are, seem to be at least UV resistant. Uh, these will last years and years and years, even uncovered out in, a, in bright sunlight. Obviously, if it's really sunny and the water's getting hot, you, you know, you could cover this with a tarp to, uh, to give it some shade. But the benefit of having it open like this is that the ultraviolet radiation is gonna kill anything that starts growing in your water inside there. So assuming you sort of cycle through it regularly, you're not gonna, and you know, maybe once a season, clean it out again, uh, you're not gonna have to worry much about um, bacteria growing in the water here because it'll get killed by the UV light. And uh, that way your animals will stay hydrated and healthy. Make sure you stay hydrated when you're working on a hot, sunny day. AnchorRanchFarm.com. Anchor Ranch Farm in beautiful Sio, Oregon. Peace be with you.